There are signs of past glaciers all around Greenland. In this video, we will learn about the importance of being observant of the landscape around you. It is possible to learn so much just by having a keen eye for the landscape. Where I live in New Hampshire, an ice sheet covered the landscape 10,000 years ago. Right where I'm standing was covered with ice that was miles deep. Today as I walk around the forest, the signs of the glacier are still evident. One can see scars on the rocks from the weight and the movement of the ice and huge boulders that were picked up and carried by the glacier. These rocks then get dropped when the glacier retreats and melts. In Greenland, the ice sheet is still melting, leaving rocks and other evidence behind as it retreats. Scientists use these rocks to understand how glaciers move and when they last covered an area. Next, we will speak with a teacher and scientist here at Dartmouth. She is using the landscape in Greenland to uncover mysteries about the past climate of the Earth. My name is Meredith Kelly. I'm an assistant professor of Earth Sciences at Dartmouth College. What I do is I try to figure out how big and small glaciers were in the past. I started working in Greenland uh, the first time in 2004, and I got an opportunity to go to East Greenland to the Scoresby Sun region and start doing some research there. And since then, I um, have been back almost every year and have started to go to uh, West Greenland, also near Kangaroosuak, and this summer I'm going up um, to the Northwest Greenland um, near Thule. So the landscape um, is amazing, um, particularly in Greenland, because it, it records um, the different times in the past uh, how big the ice sheet was, and to some, in some places how small the ice sheet was. One landscape feature that is really indicative of an ice margin is something called a glacier moraine. And a moraine is essentially a, a ridge of sediment that's just bulldozed up by the ice margin. And if we find a moraine in the landscape, we can say, okay, the ice was here. And the next aspect of what I want to understand about that landscape is the age of the moraine. So when was the ice there? And then we can tie it back into what was going on with climate at that time. Was it warm? Was it cold? Was it wet? Was it dry? I use a method that enables me to date a rock. When the surface of a rock is exposed to the atmosphere, it's exposed to all kinds of um, high energy particles that come in from space that come in every day. When these high energy particles hit the surface of a rock, they cause reactions, chemical reactions within the rock, and specifically different elements are formed. And I measure one of these elements that's formed um, that's known as beryllium. So I can take a sample from the rock and figure out how much beryllium is in it. I can calculate how old that rock is, how long it's been sitting on the surface. Most of the coastal area of Greenland was covered by ice during the height of the last ice age, which was about 20,000 years ago, and the Greenland ice sheet extended way out into the ocean, also almost out to the continental shelf. The ice sheet started to recede because climate started to warm, and it reached the coastlines in most area, probably also in Nuuk, by about 10,000 years ago. Now that you know what a glacier can do to the landscape, you can try to find these pieces of evidence yourself. Although you might not be able to analyze chemical samples like Meredith Kelly just yet, you can observe the bigger signs of a glacier, such as scarred rocks and massive boulders. As the climate continues to warm, the landscape will continue to be influenced by glacial retreat. You are now prepared to unravel these mysteries where you live.